He was. Excuse me. Did you say something about Bardolf Beaumont? I did. I don't think we've met. I'm Dorothy Sprottle. I was just worrying about Claire Beaumont's brother, Bardolf. Only he's gone missing. Rumor is he was seen in the forest practicing dark magic. Saw him myself near some ruins with Rookwood's lot I did. I fear he got himself into trouble with the Ashwinders, especially if he made them a promise he couldn't keep. Shame, really. With Ranrock's camps cleared out, I have a feeling he'd have given up on dark magic altogether. Why would Bardolf want to get involved with the Ashwinders? Oh, he had a terrible run-in with Ranrock's loyalists. Changed him. He vowed never to feel powerless again. I think he sought the Ashwinders out to learn their secrets. Victor Rockwood, at least, seems somehow immune to Ranrock's loyalists. Do you think Bardolf may have simply run off? No. Bardolf's run that shop with Claire his entire life. He'd not give it up for anything. He swore he'd be back in a fortnight. My instincts are that he's been held captive, or worse. I can certainly look out for him. Any help would be appreciated. You might speak to Claire first. Perhaps she has some insights that I don't. I can tell you that Bardolf was last seen in the forest wearing a particular woolen jumper. One that Claire knitted herself. Claire will be at her shop if you'd like to speak with her. Madame Beaumont, might I speak with you? Oh, I'd be happy to speak with you. Especially after your help ridding us of Ranrock's loyalists. Mrs. Sprottle told me a little more about your brother Bardolf. Oh, dear Dorothy. She'd go looking for Bardolf herself if she could. She mentioned dark magic in even the Ashwinders. Despite my repeated warnings, Bardolf's been experimenting with dark magic near the edge of the forest. I thought perhaps he'd get it out of his system and it would gradually stop. But then one day, he didn't come home. Could Bardolf have run off? No, he'd never leave me here alone. He did speak of going to talk with Victor Rookwood. That worries me almost more than his attempts at mastering dark magic. Rookwood is as dangerous as Ranrock, in my opinion. Is there anything your brother took with him that might help to track him down? Hmm. Only his satchel, journal, and a woolen jumper I knitted for him. That's all I can recall. I'll let you know if I see or hear anything about him. <sighs> Thank you. How kind. I'd be so grateful to learn where he is. I know in my heart he's out there. Do be careful. I should be going now. Thank you. This could prove dangerous if I'm not careful.
Revelio. Revelio. the river near the forest. I must be on the right track. I know what that means. Merlin trial. Revelio. <laughs> Incendio. This looks intriguing. Incendio. 
Incendio. Is that inferior? Why would he jump? That must be part of. Incendio. Expelliarmus. Rebellion. An entry from Bardolf's journal. He overheard whispers, a plan, something to do with him. Revelio. This mentions in theory, something about it being Bardolf's turn next. Rebellion! Your poaching days are over. Revelio. Incendio. Levy, 
That's just the truth, that is. Can't help me natural gifts now, can I? Rebellion. Revelio.
Revelio. See if there's something you need. Thank you for your patronage. Thank you for your patronage. That's been a pleasure. Revelio. Are you in some sort of trouble? Nearly attacked by wolves, I was. Only just escaped with my life. I need to be better prepared next time. Could use some thunder brew. I don't suppose a student like yourself would be in possession of such a thing? I'm afraid not. I'd help you if I could, but I don't actually have anything with me. Well, that is unfortunate. I was hoping you'd be better prepared. Not a charitable bone in their body. How nice to see you, my young friend. I'm not sure how I'd fare in a little place like this. Thank you for all that you've done for us. Madame Beaumont, I do have some news of your brother. Oh, please tell me he's safe. I regret to say that Bardolf had been turned into an Inferius, and I had to kill him. What? How could you possibly think that an Inferius was my brother Bardolf? That's absurd! He was wearing a woolen jumper, hand-knitted. <gasps> no! No! This can't be! <gasps> I'm truly sorry. I wish it had been better news. I wish you well, Madame Beaumont. What more could I have done? Oh, Bardolf! Bardolf! My dear, dear brother! What are you looking for, exactly? Thank you for passing through. made up a hogsfield safer New and for that I thank you. you know. I remember you. Your generosity helped me afford this rather exotic snake contraption. Very Salazar, isn't it? Hogsmeade, here I come.
You're worrying Come on far in and too have much. A look around. Nobody's looking at you. No touching. Oh, boy. Yeah. Why did you buy me a second pair? I hate these Novelty socks. Novelty socks at that price can't be. Plenty for your perusal today. I'd Take rather your have time. Socks than be dancing like this. You're not dancing. You're exercising. Father, why I'd say that looks as if it was made for you. And you'd said the charm'd come out in the wash, but it hasn't. Someone so dramatic, just like your father. Anyone would think you had an affliction. Has he been cursed? Oh, please, can't we take these socks back to Mr. Hill and get me some when normal... You won't be disappointed. That's a glad rags promise. Until then, you'll learn to be thrifty and behave. You're starting to cause a scene. Papa, can we really wash... I'd say that looks as if it was made for you. That woman will say anything to avoid spending a canut. I'd say that looks as if it was made for you. I suspect you have a sharp eye for fashion. Be sure to stop by whenever you're a rebellion. rebellion.